Hello, we're going to go over how to make a digital negative using Adobe Photoshop and your photographs from your cell phone. It's going to look like this because what this is, it's called a negative and when you use it on a cyanotype print, it becomes a positive. So you're creating a negative out of an image that you have on your cell phone. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to download your pictures from your cell phone. I always say email it to yourself, save it as a download, and then open it up in Photoshop. What you're going to do, the first step in Photoshop after you open Adobe Photoshop, is you're actually going to go to File New. From there, you're going to go to Preferences, the document type, and the document type is going to be called U.S. Paper. It's U.S. Paper because it's eight and a half by eleven with three hundred resolution. That's what you want for, you know, kind of the template is what I call it. And so, what you're doing is you're essentially dragging over your images from your downloads onto this, resizing them, turning them into black and white, and then creating a negative. So once you have this picture, you actually go to your downloads and you find a couple pictures that you're interested in, maybe the two pictures that you used for, um, you know, the picture that your partner wants to give you and the picture that you have as well. And you're putting them both on a sheet of paper because you're going to print them out and your cyanotype will be about half the size of this 8.5 by 11 paper. So I'm going to choose a photograph from my downloads and what I do is I get the picture, I drag it to the little icon of Photoshop. Unfortunately it's a little cut off but what happens is it opens up as a new file right here. I then go back to the downloads, I find another photograph that I'm interested in using, like maybe this one is a nice one. I again drag it to Photoshop, the icon of Photoshop, so again it's a, its own little thing, so it's its own separate size. From there I kind of go to the move tool, I drag the top of the picture over to the side, I kind of drag it over, and I have the picture over on the side and I have my little template. From there I drag the picture over, taking it from the middle of the picture using the move tool that's on the top left hand side of the toolbox. I then drag it up. From there I actually go edit, transform scale. I press the shift button and I press the arrows on the corners to kind of drag it so it's kind of fits on the top of the picture so that again I can have both pictures on here. And I might use the mouse tool while I'm pressing the shift tool to kind of scooch it into place. I can also press the little arrow key on the keyboard to kind of get it into place. And then once I'm happy with it I just press check. From there I go to the second picture, again this one. I use the move tool, I drag it to the side going from the title itself and then I drag it from the middle of the picture onto the space. I can see right now it's a little small. So again, I go to Edit, Transform, Scale, and then I press the Shift key, and I scooch it so it's larger, so it fits the space. And I just, again, scooch it so it fits the space. So that way I have both the pictures, once I'm happy with how it looks, I press the check button. If at any time I mess up, I can also always go edit step backwards to get to the last step. From here, what I need to do is I need to make it black and white and then I need to invert it. But before I do anything, I'm going to merge those layers to make it all into one. So you can see on the right hand side, there's layer two, layer one, and then background. I go to layer, merge visible, and then I have just the background. From there I go to image, go to mode, I do black and white, image adjustment, and then from there I go to image, adjustment, and then I invert it. So it is a lot of steps but this is how to get to the final piece. After that, I save it as a JPEG. The reason why I save it as a JPEG is that it 
makes the image smaller. If I save as anything else, a Photoshop file, what's going to happen is it's a very large photo and it's going to take forever to print. So I just save it as a JPEG. So I go last name, or actually I'll just save it as a negative so you have it right here. I keep it on my documents. Again, it can be really anywhere. It's just for you to print it. And then I change the format to JPEG. That's the most important thing. Again, you want to save it as a negative, save it as a JPEG, and then save. The quality is always 12 because you always want to make it as high as possible. From there, I go File Print. I want to make sure that it goes to the regular photo, um, the HP printer. So I go HP, I make sure it's selected as HP LaserJet. I say that Photoshop magic, ma decides on the color. And then I can just kind of save it as any of these is fine. It really doesn't matter. You can just go Apple R or RGB, whichever you want, just to, as long as it says Photoshop manages color and then print. It might also change the layout to where it looks better, to where you have both of them. So I have the layout as this, you know, vertical. I go print. And then I say proceed, and that's totally fine. Okay, that's it. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions, if you get stuck along the way. I know it's like, here's Photoshop, it's very complicated, but um, it doesn't need to be. Just follow the steps, pause the video as you need. Good luck.